Here in the Reese's Senior Bowl film room, we've taken a look in the past at box linebackers, primarily inside backers. Today we're going to examine the outside linebackers, those that line up along the line of scrimmage. There's really three components that pro scouts are looking for in these particular athletes. Number one, his ability to play at the point of attack against the run. Number two, his initial quickness and the movement skills that he brings to the table. And then number three, and most importantly, pass rush ability and the skills set to go make plays. I'm going to take a look at Anthony Barr from UCLA. This is against Utah from a season ago. And the first requirement for these on the line linebackers is to be able to play at the point of attack against the run. Now the opposite guard, the offside guard is gonna pull and hit Barr we're going to take a look at it from the sideline and then the end zone. But Barr at 6'4 250 pounds is able to disengage from the block and make the tackle. Now UCLA runs a 3-4 type system. So he's on the open end side here. And you can see that he's got height, arm length. But watch the positioning of his hands when the guard comes to hit him. He has his hands on the inside. And even though he's probably 50 pounds lighter than this offensive guard, he's able to punch off and ultimately get to the ball carrier coming his direction. Now here's Anthony Barr again for UCLA against Oregon State from a season ago. A different situation here, he's lined up opposite of the tight end, again discussing point of attack play against the run. Watch the shock and jolt that he gets on this tight end before he separates and hits the ball carrier down here inside the red zone. Well, when NFL scouts take a look at potential outside linebacker candidates, particularly those teams that are in the 3-4, they're going to look at the point of attack play, which we've shown you, but then they also look at the initial quickness and the overall movement skills of the prospect. And here's in the same sequence of plays we showed you a moment ago, here's Anthony Barr actually in a four-point stance lined up over the tight end but he's not going to play the run here. He's actually gonna come out of his stance and cover the tight end into the end zone, showing the ability to cover downfield. Again, remember, this is a six foot four and a half, 250 pound athlete or so. He's covered up here by the tight end, but he's gonna again come out of the stance and then get in trail position on that tight end as he tries to run his route in the end zone. We showed you a clip of Anthony Barr, who's eligible for the 2014 NFL Draft. But here's a picture of Barkevius Mingo, who actually played defensive end with his hand down most of the time in LSU's 4-3 defense. Here's an example of Barkevius playing over the head of the tight end and from a three-point stance, dropping into coverage, showing the ability to move out in space, which is very important if you're trying to project an athlete from defensive end to outside linebacker. And here's a picture of it from the end zone. Mingo again dropping out of a three point stance and to the flat. And again, he doesn't make the play here, but just the overall movement gives an indication of what he would be capable of doing as a stand up 3 4 outside linebacker. The third and most vital piece of the puzzle when evaluating prospects for the outside linebacker on the line type of 3 4 position is the ability to rush the passer. And here's Barkevius Mingo again, playing defensive end for LSU against Florida a year ago. Most people envision Mingo as an outside speed rusher, but this is a good example of his strength in terms of his, the pop in his hands, in terms of him going to the inside and splitting the gap between this offensive tackle and offensive guard. The other thing that you're gonna notice is the excellent hustle and the desire to get to the ball carrier. Jeff Driscoll there, the quarterback for Florida. But Mingo here, in a three-point stance, he looks like he's gonna come up the field to the outside. He actually is gonna punch off of this offensive tackle, split the gap, create pressure, and then pursue the quarterback. Again, focusing on pass rush, we're going back to Anthony Barr here a year ago against Oregon State. And in these three, four types of defenses, oftentimes the defensive coordinator tries to free up these pass rushing outside linebackers by loop stunting them to the inside. And this is a perfect example of Barr playing on his feet in a two-point stance and showing tremendous acceleration through the heart of the Oregon State offense. 
we'll take a look at it from the end zone as well and bar is going to come unblocked but again the speed and the acceleration up the middle and sacks the beaver quarterback so in summary with these outside linebacker candidates number one point of attack against the run number two initial quickness and movement in space and then number three pass rush ability and again anthony barr one of the premier prospects in the 2014 nfl draft is going to rush on the outside of the offensive tackle come around the corner and record another sack against oregon state from a year ago and here's the end zone shot and remember barr not only is going to rush the edge and attack the quarterback, but he also is going to jar the ball loose. And that's the kind of difference-making ability that NFL scouts are looking for when they're talking about taking players in the top 10 of the NFL draft.